Hackmeyer. I'm the lead bartender here at La Masson in the West Village of New York City. Here at La Masson, we specialize in Nikkei cuisine, so the blending of Japanese and Peruvian food, beverage, and culture. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a classic Pisco Sour in celebration of National Pisco Sour Day on the 4th. I'm a big fan of using Suyo's Quebranta Pisco in our Pisco Sour. It lends a nice rich mouthfeel, a silky texture, as well as a tart green apple warm spice flavor profile. Here at Lamasan, we make many pisco sours on any given day. Um, they are both rich and creamy and refreshing, so what's not to like? So, start with two ounces of Suyo's Quebranta Pisco. Half ounce of cane syrup, which we do two to one here at La Maison. Three quarters ounce of lime juice. And a healthy amount of egg white. I like to do two solid squeezes from our squeeze bottle here. And then, since we're using egg white, we are going to dry shake first. We do this to emulsify the egg white, AKA make it nice and frothy and creamy. Then we will shake one more time with ice. We do this to dilute the cocktail as well as make it nice and cold. So Pisco Sour has been a classic since the 1920s. It was developed by Victor Morris at the Morris Bar in Lima, Peru, and has been a classic ever since. A nice tip for making your Pisco Sours pretty is to pause a moment, let the egg white set before you add your Angostura bitters. This way it doesn't bleed through. 